I have dug deep into the archives for today's Made It Monday. Somehow I have a few garments that I made but never shared with you guys. Blasphemy, I know. So I am writing that wrong by posting them starting with this cowl neck sweater. This is McCall's 7194. It's described as a close fitting pullover top with hemline variations and stitched hem on sleeves. It's out of print, but there are several listings of it on Etsy. It's really a tried and true pattern as it's very versatile and well drafted right out of the envelope. I didn't even have to shorten it. I made view A with the long sleeves from C. The asymmetrical hem is interesting, but A, it wasn't right for this fabric, and B, I'm not sure I'm an asymmetrical hem kind of girl. Maybe in the right fabric, I'd make C without the color blocking. And as much as I love a ruffle, I just don't think the placement of the ruffle right on the hip would look that great on me. Either way, even though I really only like one hem variation of this pattern, the two necklines are great for a one and done sweater knit pattern. You can make a chunky cowl like mine, a floppier one like the model, or even a knit band. The fabric I used is a plush sweater knit that I got from fabric.com, I think. It was a long time ago. <laughs> to get a similar look to mine, you're gonna be looking for a heftier sweater knit without a lot of drape or fluidity. Instead, search for midweight knits with a thick, loose weave. You can also try something really unique like a boucle knit, a novelty knit, or cable knit. Of course, a wool sweater in it would be amazing too. And if you make the neckband version out of a sweatshirt fleece, you'd have a super comfy but slightly elevated sweatshirt. Styling my sweater is pretty straightforward. I just threw it on with some jeans and booties. It's not the most fashion forward look of all time, but it is super easy to wear, very comfortable, and I think cute. Of course, your fabric choice would significantly, significantly impact the finished look here. The pattern design is just so simple, so the fabric really has to carry the style. It's a blank slate for some great fabrics in your stash. 2020 is definitely the year that I started diversifying my makes with more casual and less trendy garments, and this sweater is no exception. Sewing is sewing, and in the end, if you love what you made, who cares if it's the trendiest thing in the world? So, I hope you guys like my new sweater. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye! Bye!